Today I'm making the battery box for the batteries. I am going to vent them through the wall here. I've got just picked up this little, uh, it's a bathroom extractor fan. And so I've drilled a hole in the wall here. Um, that uh, these things flip up, obviously. Um, so yeah, so this will just uh, vent the hydrogen out of the battery box straight out the wall and then that will protect all the gear that I've got in here because um, apparently the, uh, the hydrogen gas fumes are quite corrosive and then uh, it'll, I'll also um, try and make these uh, all of these cables look a little bit less of a mess. I'll tuck them down inside the box once the box is made. Um, so yeah, that'll just make the whole installation neater and safer. Um, exhaust all of the hydrogen gas fumes out of the battery room. Protect my equipment and protect the batteries as well from anything falling on them. So I've just made this little frame, so two pieces that go around. And now I'm just going to put some OSB um, no, no, it's not o OSB, it's uh, the other stuff that's made out of sawdust, compressed sawdust basically, can't remember what it's called, particle board. So I'll put some particle board on there and then uh, a lid. And then obviously I've got to sort out all of this mess of cables. I think once the uh, battery box is made, I'll put the inverter over here and then I'll run some... Um, just some uh, gut guttering, I think it's called. Some guttering just to hide all of these cables and clear all of this up. I've recently discovered these things. These things are awesome. They're plugs with a screw in, obviously. But uh, you just stick them in the hole and then you whack them with a hammer. Sorry, no doubt that was a bit shaky. Here's the battery box all finished. I have this uh, bathroom extractor fan that um, goes out through this vent and vents the battery box. At the moment I've just got it plugged into here, um, but we'll have to... Uh, I'm going to put some plugs and stuff on here. I'm actually going to put a second... A second distribution panel in here and so I've got one of these inside the house but um, so the inverter will go to the distribution panel that will be over here and then this will distribute electricity into the house and then uh, these will just um, be for so we'll have a main one to shut off everything um, this is AC side obviously um, then uh, this is this will be a main one to shut off everything. This will be all of the outside lighting plugs and yeah, lighting and plugs for the outside. And um, so yeah, just a main one to shut off everything. And then main one, this one to close off the plugs and, um, and lighting for outside and the, uh, the workshops at the back of the house here. Um, so yeah, the electrician has got to come and, uh, and install that. So I've just got the cables coming out of here. I've still got to sort these cables out. Um, I'm just going to fill those holes up with silicon. I'll get some high temperature, not that it needs it, but silicon. Um, and then the, the, the box at the moment isn't hinged or anything. Uh, just the thing is lying on top. Sorry. Um, so yeah, so I have my batteries in there and then I've ordered some cheap automotive fuses and I've got wire and stuff because um, I'm going to change all of these parallel, all of these parallel connections, um, sorry these, all of these parallel connections I'm going to change to much thinner wire 
um, another YouTube user called DIY Tesla Power Wall um, pointed out that if uh, if I get a short circuit if I get a short circuit with all those parallel connections then there's nothing to stop it going all over the battery bank so uh, so yeah so I will be changing those soon I had wondered about that when uh, thinking about fusing fusing the individual banks um, and then I've got to get obviously some uh, some fuses which I already have some blade fuses for all of the, uh, the the parallel connections that come to the bus bars so yeah that's my battery box all made um, which is a job well done I've still got a few bits and bobs to do and news here we've had lots and lots of rain um, and so the whole area is flooded we've actually been you can see like an accumulation of water here around the house I'm actually pumping constantly pumping I've been look you can see like how flooded everything is I've been constantly pumping water out of my water tank just into the field because uh, my water tank is 100% full and so I pump this out every day to about half full and then it just fills up again so I've got water coming in from the outside and then you can see here we have a moat around the house so anyway we've been pretty much uh, trapped here for the past over a week now um, but there's worse places to be trapped that's for sure but anyway, so that's my, my battery update.